I have an idea. Boom! No! Spark science! She blinded me with science! What the heck? Science. Science. So today, we're gonna play with Jacob's ladders. Hey, thanks Jacob for letting me play with it. Welcome. But not that kind. We're gonna use a completely different one. One that you can actually build. And one that's a lot safer. Sort of. The Jacob's ladder we're gonna use today is made with plasma. Plasma is awesome, check this out. So all we need to do this are two metal rods, two alligator clips, and a transformer. Transformers. We use transformers every day. Thanks, Science Hand. This transformer comes from a cell phone charger. If you have an Android, it's gonna look something like that. It's what? the little black box at the end of the cord. If you use an iPhone or an iPad, your transformer is gonna look like that. It's the black box. You find these everywhere, like on pianos. It's the little black box you plug into the wall. That's a transformer. What it does, it takes the 120 volts from your wall and pumps it up. Pump you up. To 12,000 volts in this case. The transformers for your phone take it down from 120 volts to about five volts. But enough talking, let's show you what this actually does. All we need now is power. Thanks, science hand. Here we go. There are four states of matter. Solids, liquids, gases, and plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. In this case, this is a plasma spark. There's four different types of plasmas that we see every day. Sparks. Sparks. Lightning. gigawatts! The sun. And fire. Fire! So let's play with this type of fire and this and see what happens. Plasma is a cloud of charged particles. Some of the particles are charged positively and some of them are charged negatively. These rods are charged positively and negatively. So watch what happens to this flame when we put it in between the charges of our Jacob's Ladder. See how it just almost rips the flame in half? All of the positive parts of the flame, of our plasma flame, are attracted to the negative pole. All of the negative parts of the flame are attracted to the positive part of the pole. If this was strong enough, it would literally rip the flame apart. It's science! Subscribe! Look at the big red button and just hit it right now, okay? Little help here!